Are you selling online with WooCommerce but want to maximize customer revenue? If so, keep watching this short video. WooCommerce is perfect for creating e-commerce websites, selling products online, and tons more. But how do we keep people connected with our brand after their first purchase? Well, today we'll explain how WooCommerce store owners are growing their brands by converting buyers into lifelong customers. And spoiler alert, anyone can do this. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. We always appreciate your support. So how do we turn one-time buyers into repeat customers? Well, the answer is simple. See, you can drive more sales automatically by adding WooCommerce customers into your own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep buyers permanently connected to your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, you can start an online community around your brand, allow customers to have profiles and interact with each other, send promo newsletters to your customers, and best of all, you can show off the size of the brand that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff. Sending WooCommerce customer info into our Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this will also work with other integration platforms like Pabbly, Integrately, and more. All right, so here we are inside of our WooCommerce store looking to purchase a sweater. Now in this video example, what we're gonna do is we are going to purchase this sweater as a new customer, and then we are going to automatically create a user profile for that customer in our brand's member community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here is the public member community website where we can see that we have currently just over 80 different members. So to get this entire thing set up, the first thing that we are going to do is head over here to Zapier. And once we're logged in, we are going to create a new Zap. After that, for the trigger, it is going to be WooCommerce. So we're gonna search for that and select that. And the event is going to be order, when a new order is placed. That's gonna be our event. And we are going to click on continue. Next up, we need to connect our account for WooCommerce. So we're gonna click on change and we are going to click on connect a new account. And that's gonna open up this pop-up window where it is going to ask us for some information. The first thing is going to be the website URL for our WooCommerce store. Then it's gonna ask us for the username or the email address that we use to log into WordPress. And then finally, it's gonna ask us for a password. And we can actually create an application password inside of WordPress. And you can click this link right here. And it's gonna walk you through the exact steps that you need to take to create that password. I've already filled out this information and connected my WooCommerce account. And once you do that, you'll see it listed here. So once we have that selected, we're gonna go ahead and click on continue. Next up for the trigger rule, we are going to choose order created. Okay, once we have order created selected, we are going to click on continue. Then we are going to test the trigger just to make sure that Zapier has access to our WooCommerce. And as we can see, they found an order and that means that we have successfully linked the two together. So we're gonna go down here and we are going to click on continue. And then for the action, this is actually gonna be our Brilliant Directories account. So we are going to select the Brilliant Directories. For the event, we are going to create a new user and then we are going to click on continue. Next up, we need to connect our account. So we're gonna to go to choose, I am going to connect a new account, and inside of this pop-up window, it is going to ask us for our website URL as well as our API key. Now for the API key, we can actually click this little hyperlink that says API details, and that is gonna redirect us to our Brilliant Directories API key section. Now, once we are inside of here, in the top right-hand corner, we are going to click on Generate API Key, and that is gonna ask us for a nickname. I am going to enter WooCommerce and click on Save API Key. That's gonna give us our API Key, and I'm gonna click this little icon right here to copy it. Then we can close out of these and go back to that pop-up window. And inside of that pop-up window, we are gonna paste in that API key. Now, the next thing we need is the website URL. So inside of that same screen, we are going to click on Visit Website up here in the top right-hand corner. And that's gonna open up our Brilliant Directories website inside of a new tab. And once it does that, we can actually just copy the domain name inside of the address bar, and then go back inside of that pop-up once again. 
and from here we can paste it in there. Now we only want everything up to the .com. So anything after .com, we can delete it, okay? So I'm gonna delete that and click on yes and continue. And once that connects, we're gonna go back inside of our Zapier here and we can see that our WooCommerce that we just created is now connected. So we're gonna select that and then we're gonna click on continue. Now from here, we are going to map together any user data that we are collecting during our WooCommerce checkout. So in my case, we are collecting their email address. So we are going to go to show all options here and I'm gonna scroll down. And if you don't see what you're looking for right away, you can actually just search for email and you'll see it there, billing email. So we're gonna select that. I am also collecting their first name. So we'll go first name as well and then we'll do last name, and we will do the phone number. So I'll search for phone here and select their phone number. I can also map the address and any other information that we are collecting. And that is the beautiful thing is that we can automatically pass any information that we are collecting inside of our WooCommerce checkout and pass it through Zapier right over to Brilliant Directories automatically. So go through here and map together any data that you are collecting that you wanna share over to Brilliant Directories and then scroll to the bottom and click on continue. And once we click on continue, we are going to go ahead and test the action again, just to make sure everything is linked up successfully and working correctly. So once that test goes through, we can see that a user was able to be sent over to Brilliant Directories and that means it works. So from here, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and publish this zap and then I wanna publish and turn on. So now this is active. So now I'm gonna head over here and we're gonna test this just to make sure that it works, okay? So I'm gonna head over here to our store where I wanna buy this hoodie. So we're gonna to add to cart. Then we are going to view the cart and we are going to proceed to the checkout. Now I'm gonna fill out all of this information here. All right, so I filled out my name, David Jason. I have my address, I have my phone number, I have my email address and we're gonna go ahead and place that order. And as we can see, the order was received. So now, David Jason should automatically have a profile inside of Brilliant Directories. So let's head back to my member community and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. And we should see David Jason automatically added as well as his phone number, email address, and everything else that we linked together inside of Zapier. And as we can see there, David Jason was automatically added to our member community. And there we have it. This is a must have integration any WooCommerce store owner should set up. So if you are ready to turn your WooCommerce buyers into lifelong customers, just click the free trial link in the description below. You'll get instant access to start your own membership site and all of the growth strategies that we've got to offer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.